Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday, happy Magic Mail Monday, happy Memorial Day if you are in the US. And it's actually Monday, May 27th, which means it's also my two year YouTube anniversary today. So two years ago today, I uploaded my very first video to YouTube and over 400 videos later, I'm still here and it's another Magic Mail Monday. So today I'm focusing on pin mail primarily. I've got um, a couple of pin mail packages and then I also have a package that came to my P.O. box that said to open on my two year YouTube anniversary. I'm not sure what's in there, but I definitely have some pins and a little bit of Magic Mail. And because today is a holiday and because the weather is just so beautiful, I'm guessing the runtime of this particular Magic Mail video will be a little bit short because I'm anxious to get outside and spend time with my family this weekend and I want you to go outside and spend time outdoors or with your friends and family and loved ones especially if you're having a holiday Monday like I am so without further ado I'm gonna jump into this pile of pin mail and magic mail and yay two years old on YouTube woohoo I gotta I gotta make a wish or something the first package I'm going to open is from my friend Ryan, who runs Disney Pins blog, the YouTube channel and website and Instagram account, etc. Ryan was recently down in Walt Disney World and a pin was released while he was there that I wanted and he was kind enough to pick it up for me. So I'm gonna take that one out first. There's actually two pins in here that um, I'll show you. But first of all, here is the pin that he was kind enough to pick up for me. It is the latest in the Disney pop-up books monthly pin series, a monthly pin series for 2019. And this month's pin features 101 Dalmatians. Super cute pin. Let me get close to my camera. I have been loving this pin series. I love the backer cards. It's definitely my intention to collect them all. Oh, look at these cute little um, hidden Mickeys up in the corner. I didn't notice that before. Uh, this month was 101 Dalmatians, as I've said like five times now. And the cool thing about these pins is they are hinge pins. They're like little, almost like little golden books and they open up and inside there is um, a scene. So you've got Pongo and Perdita, Cruella's um, silhouette in the background and some of the puppies and then you've got kind of a once upon a time opening lines of the story uh, on the inside cover. So really nice hinge pin. These have two pin posts. They retail in the parks for $17.99. As I said, they are a, a monthly release series. And here's a quick peek at the back for reference. They are limited edition of 4,000. So I'm hoping to collect all 12 in the series and the uh, 101 Dalmatians is my uh, latest edition. And the second pin in this package from Ryan is very appropriate for me to be showing today because it's my two year YouTube anniversary and Ryan actually just celebrated six years of running DisneyPinsBlog.com. Six years, he's been at it like pretty much every single day, which is crazy and um, very impressive. And he released his own six year anniversary pin to commemorate the occasion and because I'm a member of his uh, his team I, I come on the podcast sometimes and we do collabs and things sometimes he sent me one of his six-year anniversary pins as a little gift and this actually turned out amazing let me give you a close-up of this pin so the pin is quite large and it features his mascot Renzo um, which kind of reminds me a lot of Ryan and uh, he's wearing little Mickey ears and a little Mickey pin lanyard he's got a pin trading book and it says six years Disney pins blog. These were limited edition of 50. I believe they are no longer available, but I am very happy to have this. What a what a cool pin and what a great accomplishment. If you are even a little bit into Disney pins, but you are somehow not following Disney pins blog or Ryan, you should definitely go and check out his website and his various social channels. I will leave a link to Ryan's YouTube channel, website, and Instagram account down in my description box. Go follow it. It's really the best way to get Disney pin news moment by moment every single day. And uh, congratulations, Ryan, and thank you again for the really awesome pin if you are watching. The next package I will be opening is full of of pins and it is from my friend Sarah Beth down in Orlando. Sarah Beth does a lot of my current Walt Disney World pin pickups for me and I'm very grateful. And the pins in this package came from the recent pin trading night that was on May 
17th, so last week, a couple weeks ago, in Walt Disney World. And this was the pin trading night where all of the cool up 10th anniversary pins were released. I ordered just a couple. Sarah Beth was kind enough to grab them for me, and I'm pretty sure she also got them signed by the artist. So I am excited to check them out. Oh yeah, here we go. So there's one, two, three, four, four pins in this package and I'm excited to open them. One of them is a jumbo pin and this was actually the pin release that I was most excited for. I really love the movie Up and I really love the first 10 minutes of the movie Up. I mean, I love it and I also hate it because I'm usually bawling my eyes out, but Carl and Ellie from Up really remind me of my husband Aaron and myself and I know many many couples feel the same way but I kind of got it in my head recently that I wanted to collect a few Carl and Ellie pins kind of in honor of my my marriage with my sweet husband who really is like the sweetest man and Carl's got his glasses and my husband's got his glasses and they have trouble having a baby and, and we've had trouble having a baby and maybe that's TMI but a lot of you know that about kind of my journey already so without further ado I had to get this pin I had to get this pin so here's a close-up it's a jumbo pin or basically a plaque as my husband likes to say so it comes in this really beautiful box and it says celebrating 10 years limited edition 1000 for the uh, Disney Pixar up I'm just gonna open it up and inside you can see that it is the up house. There's all the balloons on the uh, backer card of the packaging. And I'm just gonna take um, this off actually and give you a better look. So here it is. You can see that it's really quite big. It's got three pin posts on the back. There's the artist's signature, LE1000, and there's the up 10th anniversary logo. And it's a hinge pin. So you open it up and first of all, there they are, Carl and Ellie holding hands in their living room. It's so very sweet. You got a little balloon floating away in the background. And then you've got a couple of their photographs on the wall, like the wedding picture, I think that is. And then over here, it says adventure is out there and you've got the kind of silhouette or engraving of the house and the balloons attached and it's floating away. And I guess I get emotional just looking at this pin and I, I had to own it. I think it's beautiful. It was not terribly cheap, but most of the jumbo pins aren't. I really think this will be a treasured part of my, my pin collection for many years to come. And it's also very heavy. So if I ever get in trouble, it would make a great weapon. You could just like chuck this at a person and they would probably die. I can't believe I just said that. I don't know why I said that, but it's a cool pin. That's all I'm trying to say. It's, it's heavy duty. There were a lot of cool pins released um, for the 10th anniversary of Up. There was a mystery pin set. There was lots of pins of Doug and Russell, and there was a pin of Kevin, the big bird. And I honestly passed on all but the Carl and Ellie pins because I just have so many pins, you guys, and I'm trying to cut back. And I'm only getting the ones that I really feel are essential and I felt these Carl and Ellie pins were essential. This one is super awesome though. First of all, I'm loving this backer card. It's kind of like a little bit translucent and it's got that same like 10 year anniversary logo of a house, the, the big bunch of balloons. And can you see it's like majorly 3D this pin. Look how far this jar actually sticks out. And it's got Ellie and Carl and it's their Paradise Falls savings jar. And then inside, I'm trying to make my camera focus, but there are little, um, you know, you can see them, like little coins inside the savings jar. You can like shake it and they move around. What a cool pin. There's also this gorgeous glitter background. Really a great pin design. This is also artist signed. It's got one pin post. And this one was limited edition of 3000. Super cool pin. So glad I went for this one. Okay, I think that was actually the end of the up pins because I'm looking through the bubble wrap and now I'm seeing two Lady and the Tramp themed pins um, also from Sarah Beth. These were also recent releases in the park. So this is also from the Pin Trading Nights event. This is the uh, Pin Trading Nights logo pin. Very cool backing card and it features Tramp and Lady and there's like the little Pin Trading Nights logo piece up here and it's like moonlit and they're putting their hands in like the little heart and it's really Really, very sweet. This pin is also artist signed and this one is limited edition of just 1,000. I'm on a little bit of a Lady in the Tramp thing mostly because I'm obsessed with Lady but I just thought this was really neat. We have uh, pin trading night pins finally here in the US. They've had them in Paris and um, uh, abroad for a while but we haven't ever really had US pin trading night pins until now. And the final pin
pin in my package from Sarah Beth is the most recent vintage vinyl pin release. Well, almost most recent. There was one for me. This is the April release, I think. And it's the Lady and the Tramp vintage vinyl. This is a gorgeous series as well. I'm not collecting them all, but so far I, I think I've gotten most of them. Here is a close-up. It says Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp, and it's the famous um, Tony's restaurant scene. I love the breadsticks on the table and the candle and the wine bottle. And then these are sliders and they come out and you can actually see um, like the uh, the vinyl record and it says Walt Disney's Lady and the Tramp and you've got um, Tony playing his accordion and that is just delightful as well. So two really great Lady and the Tramp pins and two super gorgeous up pins from Sarah Beth. Thank you so much, girl, for picking these up for me. Sarah Beth is a lovely person and a crafty person and a huge Disney fan, and she has an online Disney presence. I will link to her social channels down in my description box if you wanna go give her a visit. And thank you again for the pickups, I miss you. The next pen I wanna share with you did not come in the mail. It was a trade that I completed while I was on my most recent trip with my friend Dana. She brought this pin down into the parks to trade with me. We've been kind of threatening to do this trade for a while and we never got it together through the mail. So we just did it in person. Actually, she did it in person and I still have to mail her her pins because I am slow sometimes at trading. Um, but thank you, Dana, for this awesome pin. This is a perfect one for me. And she also gave me some other little goodies, which was so, so nice. There's like some postcards and Erin and I are going to um, Alani at the end of August and she had some extra laundry tokens for Alani when she was there and she gave me those. There's some like awesome stuff from Philly and from Alani in this bag, so thank you for the extras. But this is the best part. Check out this pin. Many of you know that I love New York City and one of my side collections for pins is New York City themed pins. And this pin set is one of the latest from the Disney store in New York. So I love the backer card. It's got like a map of New York and a Disney store logo. And we have Minnie Mouse as the bejeweled and bedazzled Statue of Liberty, as well as a Disney Store New York City. Uh, looks like a subway token, actually. I think it's meant to be a subway token. Let me just take this out of the packaging and just get a little better look without the glare. Yeah, these are really nice. Great attention to detail. Love all the little rhinestones on Minnie Mouse. And then can you see on the subway token, uh, in her crown, there's actually like a little bit of green glitter embellishment. Very cool pin set, perfect for my collection. And thank you so, so much, Dana, for your thoughtfulness and your patience and for bringing this down to the parks for me. It was so fun to meet you. I have two more packages left to open today. This one, I believe, is full of fantasy pins from my friend Amy, and Amy designs the most gorgeous fantasy pins and I've been sitting on this package for a couple weeks now and I cannot wait to open this. I'm so pumped because her pins are stunning. And then I have this mysterious happy two year anniversary magic mail that I'm also very excited to open. I'm gonna save this one for last because it's a little bit different than the pin mail theme and go for the fantasy pins next. So as I said, this is from my friend Amy in Canada. Amy is an admin in my Facebook pin trading group. She designs fantasy pins. Her uh, Instagram account is yesterday pins. I will link to it down below. She does all of her selling from Instagram, mostly like from pre-sales, etc. Um, so I'll link to her Instagram down below. And I'm not totally sure what she sent me, but she has sent me fantasy pin mail before and it's been like jaw droppingly beautiful. And I'm so excited to see what is in here. I'm just like, there's a bunch of pins. One, two, three, four, four pins. There's a little note on cute stationery says, Dear Becca, I know you're trying to downsize your collection, haha. Ha. So if these just don't fit, maybe you can trade them for something else. I hope you and your family are well. We'll be in Disney World in October and November, so maybe we can finally meet. I would love to meet you, Amy. And then she tells me um, a little bit about her pins, which I think are all of her own designs. And they're just, I mean, I'm looking down and I can already see that they're gorgeous. And <laughs> I'm so, so excited. So the first thing I wanna say is she has been doing this Greek goddess Disney princess mashup like series. And she said that she sent me her Belle and her Ariel. So Belle is Aphrodite 
and Ariel is Amphitrite. Amphitrite. I need to brush up on my Greek mythology, apparently. So I'm gonna show you these ones first. I'm just gonna take them out of the um, the bubble wrap here. Okay, I seem to have opened Belle first. So this is Belle from Beauty and the Beast as Aphrodite. Holy cow! First of all, she looks incredible, and then like look at all this beautiful gold leafing around the roses. The roses have like a subtle shimmer and they're two-toned. Beautiful dove here in the front and two apples and there's some like greenery in the back. This is such an incredible pin. It's got two layers. It's like a pin on pin style fantasy pin. So you've got the gold leafing in the back and then the, the red roses with the green stems in the front. So stunning, Amy. I, I can't believe that this is possible and that people do this like as a hobby. I don't really understand the world of fantasy pins but I'm impressed and also intimidated by it. The next pen I'm opening is obviously the Ariel Greek goddess. And this one is maybe even more gorgeous than the bell. So there she is. She's got some coral for her crown. This is also pin on pin. So you've got the gold leafing uh, again on the background here. And then you've got purple coral and you've actually got, oh my gosh, there's actual pearls like embedded into the pin. You've got the uh, King Triton Trident, and she looks incredible. I love the green color that was chosen for her dress, and I love that there's two tones of seaweed on the top. Such a well-detailed, absolutely stunning pin. I am so very curious now to see and know what other princesses she's doing in the Greek goddess series and like which princess is which goddess. I'll have to go stalk her, her Instagram. I'm a little slow on the Instagram lately. I'm a little behind on kind of like knowing what everyone's up to, but I'm really honored that you sent those to me, Amy, so thank you, and I, I feel not worthy. Okay, there's two more. Ooh, it looks like we have a Sleeping Beauty. I'm looking for the bubble wrap. And a Marie. Let's do Sleeping Beauty. Oh, it's not Aurora. I cut, All I saw was blonde hair and a pink dress, and I totally figured it was Aurora, but it's not. It's Cinderella. <gasps> this is also gorgeous. It almost kind of looks like a heroine profile in a way. Yeah, this is a Cinderella pin. Check it out. She's in the original dress that the uh, mice help her sew to go to the ball. And then you've got a glittery carriage and a beautiful starry night sky in the background. I love the gold uh, accent around the outside of the pin. She looks beautiful. Look at the top of the carriage too. So many amazing details. I feel like Disney often doesn't get this detailed. And of course, my favorite detail is that in her hand, she is holding little Gus Gus the mouse. I'm honestly kind of overwhelmed. I have very few Cindy pins, but this is also a total keeper for me. Like how could anyone give a work of art like this up? It's amazing. Oh, I'm kind of breathless by these pins. I just gotta keep breathing. I've just got one more to open and I'm gonna make it through. I'm gonna make it through. Amy, you're giving me like, hot flashes. I'm so like overwhelmed. Okay, this one is Marie from the Aristocats. I love me some Marie and I love me some Aristocats. Isn't this gorgeous? So she looks like her beautiful self. There's some really subtle glitter and shimmer on her pink bow, her hair bow and her neck bow. Her face looks beautiful. There's all these flowers and then it's like a gold heart that has Marie in the Disney font on it. Then there's this beautiful pink polka dot background and it's pin on pin and I'm actually seeing four pin posts. So let me just see if, the, if she actually comes off of her background. She does, so you can decide if you wanna have her on the uh, pink background or not. That's super cool, what a fun feature. So it's like two pins in one. Amy, I can't thank you enough for all of these gorgeous pins and for your help on my pin trading group on Facebook and for teaching me many things that I've learned about pins over the past couple of years. And you're just awesome. And I really do hope to meet you in Walt Disney World this fall. That would be incredible. So thank you. Again, I will link to Amy's Instagram account. Yesterday'sy pins down in the description box. Tell her I sent you and thank you again, girl. You are awesome, so awesome. And finally, I'm going to see what is in this mysterious open for your second anniversary magic mailbox. This is coming from Jessica in Ohio. And I believe this is the Jessica that sent me a beautiful shadow box, a handmade shadow box for my one year YouTube anniversary last year. So thank you. That 
something made me cry and I loved your talented creativity and your your incredible thoughtfulness so um, hi Jessica and you're awesome and thank you for thinking of me I'm so curious to see what's inside this box oh okay it says yay the card says yay I love the word yay I say yay a lot so yay Jessica <laughs> Let me open this one. It's an elephant holding up a flower for a giraffe. And I'm such an animal lover and such a giraffe lover and I'm on such a Dumbo kick and this is like, it's not a Disney card, but it could be. She says, Dear Becca, happy second anniversary. Last year I made you a board with notes from many friends. This year, I reached out to an ear maker for something perfect for your Disney Kitty After Dark vlogs. Oh my gosh! And it lights up for the world to see. You do an amazing job and I can't wait for next year on this channel. Your friend Jessica in Dayton, Ohio. Thank you so much. Okay, so apparently there's some ears that are inspired by my little Disney Kitty After Dark hashtag joke. If you don't know what that means, when I make Disney vlogs and I'm in Disney World and I have a glass of wine or two and I get a little silly and say inappropriate things, the joke is that it's like Disney Kitty After Dark. Like, you know, kind of like... I don't know, like Cinemax or whatever has those like after dark things. It's not that naughty, but it's just kind of like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge, grown up humor kind of thing. Hashtag Disney Kitty after dark. Anyway, let's open up the box and check out the ears. Oh, pretty. Oh, so they're kind of like midnighty, midnighty colors. We got black and blue midnighty flowers and then the wiring, it's probably a little hard to read on camera because there's a lot going on in the background, but the wiring says Disney Kitty after dark and look, there's a little like um, switch you can flip and they light up so you can glow in the dark. It's Disney Kitty after dark. Right, I'm gonna obviously try these on right now. Ah, oh, they're perfect. I love them. I'm totally gonna wear these in the parks after dark, after I've had a glass of wine or two. So, oh, Jessica, thank you so much. I'm touched and honored and what a perfect second anniversary gift. You are, you're the best. And um, thank you so much for thinking of me and for sticking with my channel for all this time. I, I can't believe it's two years. Speaking of my two year anniversary on YouTube, before I let you go, I do want to put a call out for YouTube related questions or like Disney YouTube related questions for a Q&A video for uh, kind of my two year anniversary. I mean, you can kind of ask me anything you want, but since it's two years on YouTube, I'd love to kind of keep it to questions that relate to either being on YouTube or like what it's like to be a Disney YouTuber or Disney YouTube related things, if that makes sense. I mean, you can ask me anything you want down in the comments, but the focus is gonna be on that. So if you have a question for me regarding YouTube or Disney or Disney YouTube, leave them in the comment section down below. And I would like to get that video up in the next week or so to kind of say, hooray, it's been two years. And I know people have a lot of questions about YouTube and Disney stuff. And I definitely did when I started and I still have questions, but I will answer them as, as honestly as I can and to the best of my ability. So officially I'm putting a call out for your questions and uh, that's it for today's Magic Mail Monday. I hope your holiday weekend has been great. If you've had a holiday weekend, I hope your week is off to a great start. Thank you so much to everyone who has been with me for two years or one year or really any amount of time i appreciate the support and it's really the friendships and relationships and support that i've gotten from you guys that have kept me motivated and interested in youtube so uh all my gratitude and hats off or, or ears off to you guys i'll be back soon with my first vlog from my most recent disney trip this was the six parks in one day adventure of a lifetime trip so i've got a bunch of vlogs coming up for that that should start on wednesday i've got more on unboxings for you. I've got more pin unboxings. I have a trip haul. So many things. So please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical Monday and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys. Mwah.